Blooming Prairie Coaches Show with football coach Chad Gimble uh, as we're chatting a little more than a full week into practice. And Chad, what are some of the early returns and how are things going initially? Well, um, you know, we're, we're happy with where we're at. Uh, we have a number of returning starters on both sides of football. So um, compared to last year, we feel like we're, we're a lot further ahead. Um, we, we, with uh, you know the guys knowing the offense, guys knowing the defense, knowing their responsibilities and stuff. So, so we feel pretty good about our you know our, our front line guys. What we're trying to do right now is create the depth, and we're going to focus on that a lot this week and trying to get the the, the second line guys uh, up to speed and and get them knowing the offense because uh, we all know in, you know in this game that everybody's going to make it through healthy, and we got to have those guys ready to go. Um, in, in case of that, and those first few games, uh, you need those guys too as, as kids start working on the conditioning. Off-season uh, work or drills or seven-on-seven, seven, what was an off-season like for BP football players? You know, we we don't do a lot of seven-on-seven. Seven. Okay. Um, we don't do, you know, a, we, we do a lot in the weight room, okay. and that's, that's kind of our focus. And then also with that, we also do um, – a little camp and then we go to a team camp so we we acclimate our kids for four days and then we send them out to to a team camp and and we go up to, we went up to ndsu this year so that went really well for us and you know kids are so darn busy these days we we try to give them as much time as they can um in the off season that that's my philosophy let these kids be kids in the summer uh the scrimmage this weekend where do you go on saturday who do you see and what are your goals uh you know, again, uh, we're, we're heading over to Maple River. Okay. Um, three team scrimmage. We have Maple River was in the state tournament. Blue Arts is always very tough. Uh, I think they finished second in the section, so should be very good competition for us. So it, um, those are the two teams we face. And as far as what we hope to accomplish, um, it, it, a lot of it is going to be we know what what our front line guys can do that are returning. We're going to see, you know, some of the who you know some battles that we're looking for on the, on on the lines and in the defensive back positions and linebackers. So we, we want to see those battles and and who's stepping up and then also where are we at as far as depth and and uh, who our backups will be and and those are very important roles as well. So those are the things we, we're not going to get too fancy on offense or or crazy on defense. We'll stay pretty basic, pretty base and and just see what we can do in those situations. So who are some of the key returners or captains or leaders that you're uh, looking at to uh, to guide help guide the team this season? Well, um, you know, when we start looking at um, you know guys that that are going to be key. It, it starts up front, and we have four returning offensive linemen, and and uh, three of those guys are seniors, and um, that's uh, Mitchell Oswald, Brad Staska, and, and Nick Thompson. Those are three returners on on the offensive and defensive line. So that's that's nice, and and uh, you know they all were starters last year. And then um, you you look at as far as skill positions, we got Lucas Noble, who's a senior. And these guys are all our captains, too, and Max Romeo, okay. who's our halfback. So those guys are our our seniors and our captains that that we're looking to to kind of be our you know our key guys. And that's that's where that's where it has to come from is your are your seniors. And then uh, mm-hmm. you know, along with that, uh, quarterback returning is Seth Peterson. Um, he had a good year last year, and we expect him to take that to another another level. And um, you know we got ton of juniors that we can count on it. Um, Peyton Simon, Colin Liram, and uh, and then some sophomores to sprinkle in there. So we got a lot of guys that we feel very comfortable with and, and that have had a lot of playing experience. So um, hopefully you know their leadership out on the field and the game slows down just a little bit more for them this year. And what is your schedule uh, outlook? Highlights of the upcoming schedule? Well, it, you know we're, first of all we got moved into a different sub-district so um, we're kind of familiar with these teams from sections but we don't we haven't seen them year after year so we didn't the only team we saw from that section was Rusher Peterson okay. um, mm-hmm. from last year so um, they're all new we don't know who's coming back and, and stuff but uh, we expect you know the, the same team Somewhere Central um, Goodhue and then Rusher to be you know kind of the top teams that we need to kind of 
mark on their calendar, get ourselves ready, ready to play. And you know, our our main goal as far as what we want to do is we just want to get better each and every day. And um, if that um, leads to a district championship, then so be it. But what we're really doing is focusing on the postseason this year. Chad, thank you very much for the time. Good luck over at Maple River at Saturday's scrimmage. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, Roy. All right, great to talk to Chad Gimble, Blooming Prairie football coach on the KRFO Coaches Show.